So we got the first drop going into the pond right there behind Jaron. A pretty simple drop. We just got two big frame rocks, nice spill in the middle. Came up here, we're like, you know, let's complicate our lives a little bit. <laughs> and we want to have a splitting waterfall coming down onto the slope. So this rock here, we put in on a slope. It's sloping inwards, right? Our job is to hide this thing. We love the way it works. We don't want to see it, right? So we're going to look to get probably something big framing out right here, which is going to give us our drop of about 18 inches or so into this pooling area. But it's also going to help hide this thing kind of back in the corner. It'll look like the water's welling out from behind it as opposed to being right up against this. It makes it easier to hide and it looks like a lot more natural starting. Thank you. <laughs> You needed that. It makes it, <laughs> makes it easier to hide and a lot more natural look. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it is day three and we're moving right along. It definitely helps because we've got Jaron and Blake from Pondscapes AZ out here helping. So they're buttoning up some edges, getting some of this stuff in here, getting things compacted. You can see Jaron over here, he's working on doing some landslides, some cobbly splash areas. He's also getting the lights in. Jack and I have been kind of moving along on this waterfall up here. Jack, tell me a little bit about what's going on. Well, I'm glad you asked, Brian. Oh, good. <laughs> so we got the first drop going into the pond right there behind Jaron. A pretty simple drop, we just got two big frame rocks, nice spill in the middle. Came up here, we're like, you know, let's complicate our lives a little bit. <laughs> and we wanna have a splitting waterfall coming down onto the slope. So this rock here, we put in on a slope. It's sloping inwards, right? When water gets up on it, it's gonna come out here and it's gonna kinda ride up and go off this way. It's gonna act like a natural shoulder over here containing the water on this half of the rock. It's gonna be a really cool look, something that we like to do quite often. And up behind it, we're actually going to have a waterfall that splits around this rock. Now we set a weir stone here and a weir stone here. What's important is that they're nice and level going across, which means these are both the same height. So then when that water pools up behind it, it's gonna feed evenly off these rocks, giving us a nice cool looking waterfall, not where one side's weaker than the other. So it's gonna be a lot of water going here, but there's gonna be the same amount of water. So that's important. Then we gotta come up behind us and hide this monster, right? So this is the heart of the filtration. There's a 6,000 biofall. There's filter mats that go inside there. There's bio blocks, water flows up from the bottom and it comes out this notch, this opening right here, and that's what's gonna essentially start our waterfall. Our job is to hide this thing. We love the way it works, we don't wanna see it, right? So we're gonna look to get probably something big framing out right here, which is gonna give us our drop of about 18 inches or so into this pooling area, but it's also gonna help hide this thing kind of back in the corner. It'll look like the water's welling out from behind it as opposed to being right up against this. It makes it easier to hide and it looks like a lot more natural starting. Thank you. <laughs> You needed that. It makes it, <laughs> it makes it easier to hide and a lot more natural look. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the goal today is obviously try to get that waterfall done. If we can get that waterfall finished up today, and I don't mean running or anything, but up into the point where we're at least sealing the liner up to the biofalls, tomorrow we can start digging out the rest of our pond and finishing that intake bay. So it is, I don't know, 1.30ish, it feels like, maybe closer to 2, and I think we easily have three hours up there on the waterfall, so maybe not finish today. Maybe we will, I don't know. Just keep paying attention, we'll see how far we get.
that's a wrap of end of day three here. I think we got to where we wanted to get to. We're all the way up to the top of the bio falls up there. So we started someplace in here this morning and just kept working our way up. We got some of these wing walls done. We got some edges and stuff all finished in here. Some lighting cable run. So I'm loving the way this waterfall is turning out. I really like these coves. You can see this big cove that this is gonna fall in into here. And then it narrows down to you know 12 inches wide. So we got a nice 15, 16 inch drop there. There's of course a big light on there. Then we come up here and instead of doing just a sheet waterfall, we'll get water to come off of there, come off of there, come this way. So this is really split and moving all around. And then we got another big sheet waterfall back there. So tomorrow we just have to add a couple rocks here and there, backfill, and then foam that waterfall up on top. So looking really good. I'm happy. Other people are taking pictures, so I think they're happy. And I think that means it's dinner time and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, good morning, everybody. Yes, we are back out here. It is the beginning of day four and things seem to be running on all cylinders this morning. We're buttoning up the waterfall. We've got a few extra rocks going in the pond. The goal is to start digging the intake bay today by lunch. But while we're doing that, we're doing all the detail stuff. So you can see Balake over here working on edging. Love the way he's doing this. He's got this rolled right up in here tight. Then we can actually come and bring soil right over the top of it. And the idea is, is if you pack this in tight enough right in here, the a little bit of soil that moves or migrates between the edge of the liner and the rock is insignificant because this has been pushed in so hard. But also you can see some of the lights are being done. It's trimming that fabric. I'm up here working on this waterfall and we've got a huge gravel bed. So I've got to cut a piece of fabric to fit over this foam underneath and create that big bib liner. So I'll show you guys that in a second. We got Ralph strapping boulders. They got this one set, that one set, one set over in there. We'll start shaping this berm out and getting all that done. So things are going great. I'm super happy with our progress in three days. We'll see how we go today. The man, the myth, the legend doesn't seem to be running on all cylinders, but that's okay. Maybe a little coffee and he'll be all right. I don't know, maybe he won't. <laughs> all right, let me check back in a little bit once I get that uh, bib liner in. Bye. All right guys, sorry about the shadows, but it's caused by the sun. <laughs> but I've got my bib liner in. So if we pull this back, you can see all that gravel sitting down there. And so what I want to do, if I didn't foam this or I didn't put my bib liner in, what would happen is water came up out of this biofall. It would all just penetrate down through this big gravel void I have in here. And I ultimately wanted to go over the top of this rock. So I've cut a bib liner or a piece of fabric here. I'm going to come in here with my foam gun, seal all of this. I just come right over the top of this gravel. Make sure I get right up into all those joints. I'm obviously gonna have to seal this area up with another rock, because this is so much lower than this area here. And I just come in, generous amount of foam right over the top of this. And then the reason I like to use the fabric rather than a piece of liner is because this foam bonds to this fabric so well. You'll never ever get it off. So I'm just gonna come right back over the top, put my fabric in there, and I'll just repeat and do the rest of this. It is after lunch, waterfalls are done. But you can see, we've got the liner folded back and the rest of the pond dug out. 
I'm out of breath. Jack, explain a little bit what's going on with these little depressions here. So this is the intake bay skimmer. We're gonna be drawing water from the pond across this area to a series of aqua blocks and a pump vault where we're gonna have two pumps. One will be feeding the waterfall up top, the other will be feeding the jets that have circulation. The reason we have two depressions here is we wanna have some base material for our bridge. So Keith right now is building a bridge that's gonna cross over this section of the pond. We're gonna use those red blocks over there and create a structure underneath the bridge on both sides and that's what's actually gonna hold the bridge. It's gonna be nice and sturdy and level and it's gonna allow us to set our level of the bridge just perfectly. We wanna be two inches above the water so we get that bridge real close to the water surface. That's gonna be huge as far as like the overall aesthetic. Then we'll pull everything back, we'll start setting our rock, set the bridge, build the intake, and this thing's done. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot to do there. Yeah, I... <laughs> but we're, we're looking good though. I think all of us are running on fumes here at the end of the day. The waterfalls looks amazing though. To turn this around, it just looks so good. And when all of this gets planted up back and through here, it's just gonna look that much better. We're hoping to get like some tall stuff in here, some stuff creeping in over the rocks. It's gonna look so good. And when this all gets pulled back, look at how big this pond actually is gonna be. So that really then keeps the pond to scale with the size of the waterfalls, which I think is really important too. I'm up here doing some final touches up on the biofalls. Um, we started running out of small rocks, so I dropped in this log here. And the main reason I dropped in this log right in here was because we ran out of small rocks to use up in the biofalls and so instead of just having wood up there it kind of balances out so I've got this log here and I'm playing around with these pieces up in here trying to make it look like root or something just kind of grew up over it or a bigger branch fell in there and then I'll kind of come in with some cobbles and plants and stuff in here and hopefully get all that done all right I think that's all I got for now I mean I'm, I'm like super tired I don't know why maybe it's because we've been working pretty hard for four days straight in the Arizona Sun I just I don't know I'm gonna go get some coffee. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Bye.